So I think Linux is great. CentOS specifically. This video is talking about CentOS and how to get CentOS running on your Mac. CentOS Stream, the CentOS Linux, CentOS Stream, CentOS Stream being version nine. We're gonna be showing you a few things. How to actually get the ISO for CentOS. It's completely for free. Linux distribution, you can download it from free from the CentOS website. And then we can actually go and build what's called a virtual machine, a VM running some software called VMware Fusion. VMware Fusion is a great application that actually lets you build servers, computers, whatever, on your Mac itself. So you've got your Mac and you can actually have a window that is open that is running its own operating system inside of your Mac directly. It's absolutely brilliant. Hey doing? my name is Emilio. I love tech and hopefully you do too. And why don't you subscribe, click on the button on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future video releases. Three things that you're gonna need for this. One, you're gonna need yourself a Mac, of course. A MacBook Pro, a MacBook, an iMac, a Mac Pro, Mac Mini. Any Mac will do. When you're building your CentOS virtual machine, a server running within VMware Fusion, you're actually going to be handing some of the resources from your Mac to your Linux. So the more resources you've got on your Mac, the faster your Mac is. If you're running an M1, an M2 processor, the more resources you can allocate to your Linux VM and the faster your Linux VM will be actually running. So you can actually be having both the Mac and Linux running side by side quite quickly if you've got really good resources on your Mac. The second thing is get a copy of VMware Fusion. VMware Fusion, you can download it for free, try it for free. It's not just for Linux. You can actually install different versions of Windows, other Linux to go and download that. I've got the link down below if you want to know exactly how to get it. And then the third thing is an ISO of CentOS. You're gonna to need to go to the CentOS website, download version nine, and actually have that ISO to be able to build your VM. We're gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna get ourselves our Mac right now. So let's do it. So in your Google machine, you're gonna go and select download CentOS OS right there in the search. We're gonna go and click on that one right there. You're given a few options of CentOS Linux version seven, CentOS Stream version eight and nine. We of course want CentOS nine right over here. You need to select the ARM 64-bit edition, which is gonna be compatible with an M1 and an M2 Mac. If you're gonna be using this on an Intel Mac, you then need to go and download the ISO of the x86-64. So just be aware of that. Intel will be the top one. M1 and M2, you're gonna go and download. The download will then commence on the bottom. You then go and get yourself a coffee because it's gonna take some time. You've got yourself three different options over here. The first one is just the standard VMware Fusion player if it's gonna be completely for personal use. If you're not doing this in a commercial environment, you're not doing it in a business, you can go and create yourself a VMware account and then download the, v the Fusion player there for free. Then you've got VMware Fusion player 13, the fully fledged version, $149. And then you've also got VMware Fusion 13 Pro. Let's go through the differences very, very quickly. And as you can see that the player gives you all of the ticks right there, it does not give you these other great features while the Pro gives you all of this and then Pro Plus support gives you some technical support as well. So I'm gonna recommend, I generally recommend always getting the better version available, which is going to be the Pro version. You're gonna get the most features out of it, especially if you're wanting to build a whole bunch of other virtual machines in future, then that's probably a good one to go with. So I'd recommend go and download the Pro version or the player version if you don't want all the features, but if it's completely for free for your own personal use, for your own testing, then you can go and download the free version as well. And then you can also register that later on. If you're going for the Pro, you just go and add it to your cart and then you just go and download that copy. Once you've got Fusion installed, you've put in your admin stuff and it's ready to go, we then open up Fusion. There it is down there in my little dock there and it opens up. You're presented with this first screen where now you need to go and select that installation media. And of course that is the ISO that we just went ahead and downloaded. Click on continue. You now need to drag that ISO image right into here, or you can just use another disk or image. It'll actually open up a finder window and you can navigate directly to it. Here we have the CentOS version nine, making sure it's the ARM version. If you of course have got the Intel, you're gonna add the Intel one into there. 
click on continue. So I'm gonna go and select Red Hat Enterprise version nine in here, cause it's gonna be the specs. You realize that CentOS isn't listed in here, but that's fine. This is just to configure the specs that I'm gonna need. So it's gone by default and said, hey, I think this one needs 20 gig, two gig, and it's just gonna create the template for you to be able to then install CentOS directly onto it. But you can go and customize the settings right in here if you need to, you can click on this and I can actually give this a meaningful name. We'll call it just Linux nine, just for now and leave it 64 bit arm, that's fine, save. I can go and change the memory, up it, I can change the CPU, the hard drive space, all of that right now. But the great thing about VMware, of course, is you can do this whenever you want. So you can shut down that VM whenever you need to, and then actually increase or decrease those specs as you need. For now, we'll keep that as it. And we're gonna click on that big play button. So this is the good sign. It means that the actual ISO has been found, it's been detected, it's been booted. And I'm gonna go and select Install CentOS Stream 9. Everything's happening. Look at that, great. Excellent, we now select the language, the country. That means that we're booting, we're now starting the installation of our CentOS. Gonna set yourself a root password, put in a nice complex password. This is the full administrator, the full root password. Make it complex, make it something that you'll also remember. Never forget this one. And then create yourself a user. I'm just gonna create myself a user account and again, add my password. So my user account has been created, Emilio. I can actually add that as an administrator if I want to. And then a root account as well, that will be set right there. The installation media, making sure that that all looks fine. Yep, great. 20 gig hard drive, excellent. Press on done. Now it's ready to go. Good, begin installation. So now we just wait. And we're back, reboot, now log in. And here we got fully running CentOS. So how did you go? Did you get it up and running? Why don't you let us know down below in the comments whether if it worked for you or if it didn't. And as always, subscribe, click on the button on the bell. I love tech and hopefully you do too. Check out some of my other videos. Check out some of my training courses if you wanna know more about technology down below in the show notes if you wanna know more about VMware. Heaps of courses available on VMware. I know that you'll find them helpful. But that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next. We'll see you next time when we continue talking about all things tech.